Hey, Stitchy D here. So today I'm going to do another little hair tutorial, which I've done before. I'm going to show you how to do this French plait. This is a quick and easy hairstyle, and it can take like from anything to half an hour if you're just learning to 10 minutes because of all the intricate bits but if so this is ideal when you're doing like sports like I do my hair like this for trampolino because my hair when it's in a ponytail it hits me in the eyes which hurts and also say like you haven't got really that much time to wash your hair and you like for example go to school this is ideal because you could put it up like that and it won't look greasy if you spray stuff on it then after. I'm going to teach you how to do this. So to start off this braid, what you're going to need to do is to brush your hair. I'm using a classic tangle teaser. If you've got long hair like me, you're going to want to bring it over your shoulders with it at the back and brush from the bottom brush the bottom first Oop. and slowly make your way up your hair which is brushed all the nuts up It won't seem to have texture and you won't be able to do the pat properly. So use the texturizing spray. I've got like a few. There's a sort of thing from Nisu spray by Star Expertise. But this I ran out so I had to fill it up with just normal salt water. Is the VO5 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray? Just show you. So you're gonna need to give us a good shake. And then just spray it into like your hair. Just up my shoulders again. And you're gonna need to spray it throughout your hair and the roots as well. gives a tussle effect, I can't even pronounce that, to layers and waves. It's kind of dry shampoo a bit, but not. So, you can then look more like matted and that side looks shiny. You're going to want that to get grip and lift a bit better. You're going to want to do the other side there. Give it a good shake. The boys that will go can wipe out all your hair. So what you're going to need to learn is just like flip your hair over and spray it underneath. Ah. No, 
and you're gonna to wanna to like brush your head, put your hair back and spray this bit. Now you're going to want to take three strands and do a three strand plait, adding in a bit of a section each time you do this, like so, and then put that over the middle one, and make sure you're pulling tightly, then grab one from the other side and put that into that, and plait that over. Keep adding smallish sections into your hair to create the French plait. Remember to do one side then the other each time and always put that into the middle then. Your arm will start to ache while doing this but you can take it like a rest by putting your arm down for a bit. Make sure you pull in tight every time you do this because you don't want loose parts. As you can see, I dropped my brush. You may have to keep brushing parts at some points because it will get knotted. Just keep putting sections into one side of your hair and cross it over. Then take one from the opposite side and put it in. And cross that over then. As you can see there is one section left and I put that in. Then continue the plait down the back of your head. And when you get to the section which you can't plait anymore, twist your hands around and you have to plait it like you would with a Dutch plait. And just continue that down your shoulder. Once you've reached that area, take a bobble or a clear elastic and press, tie your hair off. Now you're going to have to look for some hair grip, just in case. So once you've found your hair grip, if you've got any loose parts in your hair like this, you want to secure them with a grip. And repeat that over your head as you find the loose bit like so. This will stop your hair from coming out. So, once 
once you've finished off your flat and you tied it off with a bobble or a clear elastic and if you've got any loose bits you've put clips in like so you're going to either want to use hairspray to insert extra holes to this way. That's that one. I don't know if you can't see the labels because I'm using natural light. You just see that there. Or my what I like to use, which the idea when you do the pack, is the VO5 casual extreme style casual control. Targeted definition spray. So this is like, you know like hair gel where you get it out of a pot? It's like that, but the, it doesn't leave the like stickiness and it holds your hair but it's still feeling natural. So you're going to want to spray this over your like flat and then you can go in down the flat if you like. But make sure you do it by the wall because otherwise it will like start to come undone so. and also the taps where you get like the flyaways see that there, if you want to go in back I'll do that in a bit but to do that you're going to want to spray some on your hands by like Elsa but like make pulling the cut out a bit and like back comb in the top so it's like all like big but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial to do a French cut please give it a like a comment and a, and subscribe for more videos bye